Five and Ken Clark. The Justice Secretary is here to take your questions this morning. 0500 909 693. He is responsible for prisons, courts, probation and legal aid in England and Wales. And um, rape, bit, rape is violence, rape with maybe, respect. No, it's not. And your desire to punish serious criminals. Let's talk about this uh, idea of halving jail sentences for people who plead guilty early, including rapists. Many people believe you should make an exception for rapists. Why aren't you? Uh, well, firstly, it's already a third. Most people yes, don't yeah. know. Well, and, uh, yes, I, you obviously know. I'm sure you expected you would. Uh, most people don't realise you get a discount for pleading guilty. In, uh, and unless you think about it, you wonder, why do you do that uh, when he's actually done it? Now, rape is actually the strongest example, in my opinion, of why you do it. Uh, somebody who stops messing about stops accusing the people accusing him of being liars, stops a great long trial, relieves the victim and the witness of going through the whole ordeal again and being called a liar. And that's why we give a discount. That's why we've always given a discount. We still have far too many people who don't plead guilty in, in the first place and it you know, wastes police time and costs money and all the other things. But the thing that's most compelling with me is you know, just, we'll give you credit if you put your hands up, stop messing about and don't make things worse for the victim. Now, in the case of rape, I can't think of a better example. If you have plead you met guilty... Women, have you met women who've been raped? I've taken part in rape trials. I, so I was a lawyer. So sort of, uh, Yes, I've met women who've been raped. And have you put this idea to women who've been raped? No, I haven't put this idea to women who've been raped because I haven't met one recently. But uh, I, I, my experience of rape trials... Wouldn't it, wouldn't it have been... Is that the trial, a, a, ago, a contested rape a case ago. makes things worse for the... Yes, but I don't think rape's changed all that much. What, 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 what happens is uh, that the woman finds another ordeal is now being imposed upon her. A woman's already distressed and traumatised enough by the rape, finds she's now in a witness box in front of a jury with a lawyer accusing her of, try of lying, going over the whole thing again. Under your plans, uh, that, we, woman we, we, could find, that. that woman could find the rapist back on her street in a year and a bit? Well, the it's rapist an insult is, to her, The rapist it? is going to be... A very light sentence for a year and a bit? Yes, a rapist gets five ra years. Ra rapists don't Please get, rapists get, get hang, more than Hang that, on a minute. Easily. Five okay. years on average. Yes, they do, Mr do Clark. They? Well, yes, they that, do. That includes date so, rapes, 18-year-olds so, with having intercourse So with if they plead guilty well. early, that is taken down to two and a half. They're released after half their sentence. That's the norm. That's pretty much automatic. So that takes it down to just over a year. No, the the yes. serious rape. I, I don't think many judges give five years for a forcible rape. Frankly, the the tariff is longer than that. And a serious rape, where you know violence and a, an unwilling woman, uh, the the the, the, the tariff is much longer than that. Uh, secondly, halfway through they are released, but they're released on license. So they're, they're still supervised. They can be recalled if they do anything wrong on licence. All this, they're let out after half-time, which is really right. I didn't introduce that, but that's where we are. But it is subject to licence and subject to recall. So that they are. the idea is that that stage you're trying to stop them doing it, it again, and eventually they will finish the sentence but and they're let out. How, how what you need sorry, is an appropriate me. sentence. The reason for giving a discount for pleading guilty when the judge is imposing the original sentence is because the woman is going to be put through the whole ordeal again. If why, there's no if, encouragement If to I had been raped, why would be I be encouraged to go to the police when I know full well that the rapist could get just over a year in jail? Why would I put myself through the trauma, the examinations, the hell of it? When he might be out in, in well, 15 I, I months. Well, I must stop you repeating this to total nonsense that you're rape... But ben, assuming you're, you and I are talking about rape in the ordinary conversational sense, some man has forcefully... Um, with, rape, a bit, with a bit of violence, with made respect. You, no, it's not. And if there's an 18-year-old has sex with a 15-year-old and she's perfectly willing, that is rape. Uh, that, that's because she's underage, she can't consent. Anybody has sex with a 15-year-old, it's rape. So, so uh, what you and I are talking about is we're talking about a man forcefully having sex with a woman when she doesn't want to. That is rape. Serious crime. Of course it's a serious crime. Uh, and I'm very glad that people do now go to the police and report it. There used to be a taboo against it in a sort of crazy way. Won't this and, measure and be counterproductive and put no, women off going to the police? It was only, Will, if, if 
campaign has given them the impression that the rape is only going to get 12 months anyway. That's just nonsense. Tabloid newspaper nonsense. Uh, they, 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 he will get many years, uh, and but in order to encourage him to stop brazening it out and putting her through the ordeal again, instead of the present discount he would get under the previous you know, tough governments and all that, uh, of uh, a, a third, he we, we, in in a case where the judge thinks it's right, where he really has shown contrition and is not making things worse, can get a, a, you know, a half off. Now, okay. this has been, this has been me, parodied let me by people who Gabrielle don't know how long pe rapists get and are claiming the five they're year, the, the five-year stats come from the Council of Circuit uh, Judges. And they include the 18-year-olds having sex with 15-year-olds. The five years describe. come from the Council and they, of they, Circuit they, And they include date rapes, which are date rapes uh, sometimes can be very confusing. The, the, a, a so is date rape not as serious? Date rape can be as serious as the worst rapes, but date rapes... Uh, in my, you're quite right to say, very old experience of uh, being in trials, they do vary extraordinarily one from another. And in the end, the judge has to decide on the circumstances. But I've never met a judge who, confronted with a, a rapist, as you and I would use the term in conversation, would give him 12 months. That would be a crazy sentence. The Justice Secretary, Kenneth Clark, is at the centre of a row after making controversial remarks in which he suggested some rapes were more serious than others. Mr Clark made the comments on a BBC phone-in programme about government proposals that could reduce jail sentences for rapists if they pleaded guilty at an early stage. For much of the day, Mr Clark refused to apologise, but this evening he said sorry to a victim of attempted rape who'd appeared on the programme with him. Here's our political editor, Nick Robinson. Um, if you're the Justice Secretary and you're talking about something as sensitive as rape, words do matter. In your view, what are the different kinds of rape and are there some more serious than others? Today, Ken Clark stirred up a storm of outrage on a day he was defending his idea to cut in half the sentence of rapists who plead guilty early, saving victims, he says, from unnecessary trauma. But on an emotional Radio 5 Live phone-in, one victim told him of her horror at the short sentence her attacker received. He was released on licence. He further reoffended, and he further reoffended, and I'm sorry to say he further reoffended. That followed an on-air argument about whether rape sentences were simply too short. Assuming you're, you and I are talking about rape in the ordinary conversational sense, some man has forcefully, um, rape, with, with rape a bit of violence, with made respect. you. No, it's not. What he called the most serious rape cases did get long sentences, he said. But that idea that some rapes are more serious than others got him into real trouble. Date rapes uh, sometimes can be very confusing. The, the, a, a so is date rape not as serious? Date rape can be as serious as the worst rapes. But date rapes, they do vary extraordinarily one from another. And in the end, the judge has to decide on the circumstances. He was forced into a series of interviews to explain that apparent suggestion that not all rapes were equally serious. And to watch uncomfortably in a BBC studio as the Prime Minister struggled to defend him at question time. Mr Speaker, the Justice Secretary cannot speak for the women of this country when he makes comments like that. As I say, I have not heard this, this interview, but the, the point is this. What matters is, do we get more cases to court, do we get more cases convicted, and do we get more cases sent down for decent sentences? That is the concern we should have. Mr Speaker, the Prime Minister, when he leaves this chamber, should go and look at the comments of the Justice Secretary. And let me just say to him very clearly, the Justice Secretary should not be in his post at the end of today. Moments after watching that, he agreed to be interviewed by me to explain what he had and hadn't meant. No apology then, no resignation. No well, I, uh, someone can explain anything I've said that is factually incorrect. Uh, and which, uh, and of course I will consider it, but uh, what is happening is, it has always happened in politics, I'm not surprised by this, people are slightly spinning and loading of what I said uh, in a way which, uh, in order to get what I regard as a false indignation. So, no apology there. But fast forward two hours, and I was invited to do another interview with a very different tone. It's clear now that you regret the way the w words have been seen, but if you'll forgive me, have you been told that you should apologise? No, I haven't, and I haven't apologised, as far as I'm aware. Uh, I apologise if, if an impression's been given which is not my view and which I don't think 
I stated. But my view, let's be clear, is that all rape is serious. Regret then, but no apology from the Justice Secretary. Under his proposals, the maximum sentence for rape in England and Wales would still be life. The minimum is five years, where there are no aggravating or mitigating factors. Under the government's proposals, that minimum could be halved with an early guilty plea, and halved again if early release was given for good behaviour. This rape survivor says it was the words that hurt. It affects your career, it affects every single relationship that you have. You don't trust people, you can't look them in the eye. So to say that there are different forms of rape, who is one individual to judge? Mr Clark, are you really sorry? As you can see, I'm on my way to a dinner. Tonight, Ken Clark left home having written a letter to say sorry to the victim he spoke to on the radio. Yeah, well, it's just my luck that on an evening like this I turn out to have to change into a black tie. I mean, but it's, it's a serious issue. Rape is a serious crime, so I hope nobody pretends that I hold any other view. <laughs> Today, the row was about his words. Next, it might be the policy. Nick Robinson, BBC News, Westminster.